Press the more it works. Zaidi unapotambua neema zaidi inafanya kazi. The less you forget it, the less you just remain an ordinary person. Na zaidi unavosahau kutambua neema zaidi utakuwa mtu wa kawaida. Don't forget the grace of God. Usisahau neema ya Mungu. The grace of God is the maker of men. Nani neema ya Mungu ndio inamfanya mwanadamu. We are what we are or who we are by his grace. It's titled the fundamental and the process for developing christocratic mindset inasema kwamba misingi na mchakato ya kuendeleza akili au mtazamo wa kikristokrasia very important ni muhimu sana there are fundamentals kuna vitu vya msingi there is a process to undergo na kuna mchakato wa kupitia ndani at the end of it all na mwisho wa hiyo yote you will build and develop a christocratic mindset itajenga na italeta mtazamo wa kikristokrasia until you build your mind on something kama bado haujajenga ufahamu wako kuhusu kitu fulani that thing will not become a reality in your life kile kitu hakitakuwa halisia ndani ya maisha yako if you believe in the miracles ukiamini kuhusu miujiza you need to develop miracle mindset inabidi ujenge mtazamo wa miujiza if you believe in business kama unaamini kuhusu biashara you need to develop business mindset inabidi uwe na mtazamo fulani kuhusu biashara if you believe in redemption Uki, ukiamini kuhusu kukombozi you believe in jesus unamwamini yesu kristo you believe in his death unaamini kuhusu kifo chake his burial na kuzikwa kwake his resurrection na kufufuko wake then you are saved hapo umeokoka but for the salvation to work in you lakini ili uokovu itende kazi ndani mwako you need to develop salvation mindset inabidi upate mtazamo wa uokovu that why the apostle paul say ndo maana mtume paulo akasema you must work hard at your own salvation inabidi utumike kweli vikali kuhusu uokovu wako nothing will work in this kingdom Hakuna kitu kitafanya kazi ndani ya ufalme huu until it became our mindset kama ito kuwa mtazamo wetu na ufahamu wetu hallelujah amen so christocracy will be a mere story kwa hiyo christocracy itakuwa mambo ya dc tu it will be just a simple talk itakuwa ni kuongea ongea tu if it's not our mindset kama sio mtazamo wetu na namna yetu ya kufikiria let's read two scriptures before we start tutasoma maandiko mawili kabla tuanze philippians chapter number 2 wa filipi sura ya pili verse 5 only mstari wa 5 peke yake let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus Iweni nania hiyo hiyo ndani yenu ambayo ilikuwamo pia ndani ya Kristo Yesu Take with me Proverbs chapter number 23 Tuchukue mizali sura ya 23 Ah uh, we we'll be reading verse 7 part A Tutasoma mstari wa 7 sehemu yake ya kwanza Proverbs 23 Mizali sura ya 23 As he thinketh in his heart so he is he I like that scripture maana aonavyo nafsini mwake ndivyo alivyo so you are the product of your thinking and mind kwa hiyo wewe ni matokeo ya ufahamu wako na jinsi unavyofikiria you cannot listen to me properly you cannot transform a society or a community if you don't transform their way of seeing or their way of thinking Hauwezi ukabadilisha jamii au kundi la watu kama utafika hatua ya kubadilisha ufahamu wao na mtazamo wao. We cannot transform people. Hatuwezi tukabadilisha watu until we change the way they think. Baka hapo tupate kubadilisha namna wanavyofikiria. Until we change the way they see things. Baka tubadilishe namna wanavyoona vitu. Amen. So I have different things to say in this session. Kwa nini mambo tofauti ya kuongea katika kipindi hichi? But the number one I'll talk about the global challenge of christocracy. Lakini cha kwanza nitazungumzia uh, changamoto ya, ya, ya kidunia ya uh, 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 changamoto kwa jumla ya christocracy. Anybody who stands kila ule anayesimama and decide na anaamua to preach the pure gospel of Christ kuhubiri ile injili kabisa peke yake ya Kristo like it or not upende usipende you will face this challenge i want to, to share tonight utakutana na hizi changamoto ambazo nataka kuzungumzia jioni ya leo 
with sincerity in, in our heart pamoja na ukweli ndani ya mioyo yetu we must know inabidi tufahamu that when we start teaching about christocracy tunapoanza kufundisha kuhusu kristokrasia when we start training people on the long line tunapoanza kufundisha watu kwa ajili ya muda mrefu we will face challenge tutakutana na changamoto not because you are bad sio kwa sababu wewe ni mbaya not because the devil is so strong sio kwa sababu shetani ni mkali kabisa but that challenge accompany all the time the gospel lakini hizo changamoto zinasindikiza kila mara injili the pure gospel injili ya kweli it's a challenging business ni ni, ni biashara ambayo ina changamoto circumstances will challenge you mazingira au matukio yatakupa yata changamoto the devil will challenge you shetani atakuja kukufesi people men women will challenge you na watu pia wanadamu watakupinga especially the religious settings na, will challenge you na sana sana uh, watu wa kidini will challenge you watakupa changamoto it is not the devil who kills jesus sio shetani aliyemuua yesu he did it through religious guys aliifanya kupitia watu wa kidini So religious people can stop you to progress as you stand in the Christocratic gospel. Kwa hiyo watu wa kidini wanaweza wakasimama na wakataka kukusimamisha katika mwenendo wako wa kubiri injili ya kristokrasia. I'll be talking to you in the line of my personal experience. Nitakuwa nitaongea na wewe kupitia pia vitu nilioishi mimi peke yangu. We have seven challenges. Tunao changamoto saba. Let me go through them quickly. Acha nizipitie haraka. Challenge number one. Changamoto ya kwanza. In all Africa, katika Afrika nzima, the gospel injili has been preached. Imehubiriwa over a hundred years now. Imepita karibia miaka 100 zaidi. Am I right? Yeah. Since the Bazungu brought us the gospel. Toka Wazungu walivoleta injili Afrika. Almost more than 100 years. Ni zaidi ya miaka 100 sasa hivi. Now sasa in all those hundred years katika miaka yote mia, our fathers baba zetu they didn't hear anything about christocracy hawakusikia chochote kuhusu christocracy they have never heard about it hawakusikia kuhusu hiyo they did the ministry the way they did walifanya huduma gisi walivyofanya they have never heard hawakusikia that word christocracy hiyo neno christocracy now you are rising sasa wao unasimama you want to challenge them unataka kuwapa changamoto you want to tell them unataka kuwaambia this is the real gospel hii ndio injili ya kweli they will fight against you watakupinga like it or not upende usipende either you are holy or not iwe uko mzee au hapana holy 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 au uwe takatifu au hapana either you have money or not uwe na pesa au usiwe na pesa you will be challenged utapata changamoto You will be challenged. Utapata changamoto. We are running. Tuko na kimbia mbio. Train, a training school. Tuko na tuko naendesha shule ya mafundisho. Where we mixed. Ambao tuna tunachanganya. Tuna we are talking about uh, Christ centered gospel. Tuko na ubiri kuhusu injili ambayo inamlenga sana Kristo. Now in talking about the Christ centered gospel, tunapoongea kuhusu injili inayomlenga Kristo. Christocracy is inside. Christocracy iko ndani. And when we begin to talk na unapoanza kuongea unapoanza kufundisha all the congregations mkutano mzima all the churches na makanisa yote they will gather together watakuja pamoja and stop people from attending the training meeting na watasimamisha watu kuwapinga wasije kwenye majifunzo and, and they will let everybody know na wataacha kila mtu afahamu this apostle Zanzo is just a liar asema huyu huyu mtume ni muongo why am i a liar kwa nini mimi ni mwongo? Oh, how do I become a liar? Nimeanzaje kuwa mwongo? Just because I'm not seeing things the way they see. Kwa sababu tu sitazame vitu kisi wanavyovitazama wao. Just because I'm not preaching what they do. <laughs> Kwa sababu tu siwezi kuhubiri kile wao kwa nafanya. Just because I decided to be different. Kwa sababu nimeamua tu kuwa tofauti. When you decide to be different than others. Unapoamua kuwa tofauti na wengine. When you decide to challenge the status quo. Wa, wakati unapoanza kupinga ile hali ya kubaki hivyo hivyo. Na wewe utapewa uta, uta changamoto. This is the number one challenge brother. Na hiyo ni changamoto ya kwanza. Don't think. Usifikirie. That preaching Christocracy kwamba kuhubiri Christocracy. Preaching Christocracy. Na kufundisha Christocracy. It will be like uh, eating uh, bananas. Itakuwa kama kula ndizi. 
You be facing challenges. Utakutana na changamoto tofauti. Are you ready for challenges? Uko tayari kuhusu changamoto? But you don't you don't you don't look like Naona kama vile bado. Je, uko tayari? Are you ready for challenges? Uko tayari kwenye changamoto? Men of God let me tell you my, some of the relationship with me has been cut off. Acha nikwambie watu niwaambie watumishi wa Mungu kuna mahusiano yengine nilikuwa nao sasa hivi ameshakatika. Some relationship has been revealed. Na kuna mahusiano mengine pia yamefunuliwa. Why? Kwa nini? They don't believe in what I believe. Hawaamini kile niko naamini. And they decide to call me the thief. Na wakaanza kusema mimi ni mwizi. But I'm not. Lakini sio. I just decide to stand on the truth. Lakini nimeamua nisimame kwenye kweli. Any time. Kila mara. I stand on the truth. Unasimama kuhusu kweli. The darkness world will challenge you. Na ulimwengu wa giza itakupinga. Number two challenge. Uh, changamoto ya pili. Number two. Changamoto ya, ya pili. You have to know nabidi ujue. That Christocracy. Kwamba Christocracy is not a new message. Sio Uh, ujumbe mpya but as you start teaching it lakini utakapoanza kufundisha start preaching it utakapoanza kuhubiri people around watu kando kando will use it wataitumia to humiliate you kukuaibisha they will tell this guy is preaching rubbish watasema anahubiri vitu ovyo he is teaching non true things anahubiri vitu ambavyo sio kweli just as pastor willie taught us a, a, a few few hours ago kama alivyo tuambia mchungaji wili masaa na chache yaliyopita they are challenging you the things you the, the thing that you brought the new message watakutupa changamoto kwamba wewe umeleta ujumbe mpya when we were recruiting student for our school in goma wakati tulikuwa na sajili wanafunzi kwa sababu ya shule yetu ya kristokrasia pale goma i have to stand and explain myself in front of many people is it a new gospel i'm bringing is it a new doctrine i'm bringing what is it you are talking about christ christ centered gospel you brother zanzo what are you telling us ilibidi nisimame mbele ya watu wengi nipate kujielezea na kujitetea kwamba imeanzaje unaanza kuhubiri injili kama hii niwaelezee kwamba sio injili mpya wala sio mafundisho mapya everybody is free to believe you or not kila mtu yuko kukuamini au hapana you force anybody to follow am i right awezo kumlazimisha mtu akufuate kweli wao and they have right to question you na wanao haki ya kukuhoji maswali and you need to be strong and understand what are you teaching and preaching as well So it's not a new message. It has been there. It has been there. But it has been there. And this is what the world is waiting for us to teach and do. Am I talking to somebody here? Come on talk to me say I'm ready apostle. The number three, the number three challenge. The Christocratic Revelation is a revolution. It will challenge people and it will raise up challenge against you. It will raise oppositions. So if you are not ready for the gospel of Christ, you will sign out. You will run away because of the oppositions because of the challenges hallelujah Amen. let me give you a simple example i was teaching on the seven pillars of christology i'll talk about it if i have time the power of the death the burial and the resurrection of christ and the message was so strong the power of the holy ghost fell down people were baptized with the holy ghost they were literally speaking in tongues had a one they are singing in tongues and i have seen people translating tongues I've seen people translating tongues. The, the Holy Ghost was at work. But we couldn't meet our budget. We needed money. Something like 1600 US dollars. We needed it. After such a message, do you fundraise? 
Oh, what do you do? I stood. And my PA came and told me. He said, I said, sir, we need that money. PA, my personal assistant. He said, we, we need money. And the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost told me. You have lifted the cross, leave it alone. Go back. You don't ask about money here. It's, it's a challenge. Am I talking to somebody here? It's a challenge. Because there are messages when you finish, you, you cannot reduce yourself by fundraising again. There are messages you finish to preach. The of God fall down. Now, begin to work. If you try again fundraising, Ukianza kupima tena kuongea masuala ya pesa. You are just spoil everything. Ah, umeharibu kila kitu. Are you ready for such challenge? Uko tayari kwa ajili ya changamoto? This is where you will see the hand of God. Hapo ndio utaona mkono wa Bwana. This, this is what you will see supernatural provisions. Hapo ndio utaona sasa Mungu akileta vitu kwa hali isiyo kwa ya kawaida. This is where you will test. Ndio hapo utajaribu. What the prophet test? Kile ambacho utaweza kuoncha kile manabii walioncha. This is where you will test. Hapo ndio utaoncha. The test of the bread cooked from heaven. Utaona oncho au ile alaza ya mkate uliopikwa mbinguni. You will test the meat. Utaoncha ile nyama cooked by the ravens. Ambayo ime, imeletwa na ndege. I'm talking to somebody here. Niko naongea na mtu mmoja hapa. God is real. Mungu yuko halisi. Supernatural supply is a reality. Na akiba na kuletwa kwa Mungu kwa njia sio kwa ya kawaida ni halisia. I don't want to mix the gospel with worldly things just because I need money. Sitaki kuchanganya injili na vitu vya kidunia tu kwa sababu nahitaji pesa. So it's a challenge. Kwa hiyo ni changamoto. Now to face the challenge. Sasa ili kuweza ku na changamoto. You need boldness. Unahitaji kuwa na misimamo. All the preachers of the gospel. Unahitaji ujasiri. They were preaching with boldness. Kwa wa, wa ubiri wote wa injili walikuwa na ubiri na ujasiri. Boldness. Ujasiri. Act chapter number 14 verse 3. Uh, matendo wa mitume sura ya 14 mstari wa 3 the apostles were preaching with boldness wanasema mitume walikuwa na ubiri na ujasiri wa kijamii christocracy will require men and women even when their pocket is empty but their lips and mouths are not empty christocracia inahitaji watu ambao hata kama mifuko yao iko wazi lakini midomo yao haiko wazi bold enough to speak the word Watu ambao wako na ujasiri kuongea kuhusu Bwana. To speak blessings. Wanakuwa na ujasiri wa kuongea baraka. Bold to declare deliverance and healings. Wanakuwa na ujasiri wa kutangaza uponyaji na ufungulifu. Hallelujah. Amen. I went to the hospital one day. Nilienda hospitalini siku moja. I was feeling pain in my chest. Nilikuwa nasikia maumivu kwenye kifua changu. And the doctor told me. Na daktari akaniambia. I need to rest. Inabidi nipumzike. I have a, a gastric problem. Nakuwa na shida ya tumbo. So that day I wanted to preach. Na siku hiyo nilikuwa nataka nihubiri. I stood in my altar. Nikasimama madhabahuni. I was teaching about the finished work of Christ. Nilikuwa nahubiri kuhusu kazi kamilifu ya Kristo. And the Holy Ghost, I like the Holy Ghost. I like when I preach to see the Holy Ghost coming down so I can I can withdraw myself in the business and let the Holy Ghost the place to perform. Na mimi napendaka sana Roho Mtakatifu akishuka akianza kutenda kwa sababu napenda hiyo hapo mimi najivuta na mwacha Roho Mtakatifu yeye akitenda kazi. And the Holy Ghost came down. Na Roho akashuka. And he told me. Akaniambia. Speak the word. Ongea maneno. I want to heal the sick. Nataka niponye wagonjwa. Yet I'm feeling pain. Lakini bado mimi nasikia maumivu. But you want to heal the sick. Unataka uponye wagonjwa. And I declare the word. Na nikatangaza neno. I was still feeling sick. Eh, sick. Bado nilikuwa nadisikia niko naumwa. Pain in my chest. Maumivu kwenye kifua. But here I'm declaring the word. Hapa niko natangaza neno. People were healed. Watu walikuwa napona. My pain continue with me. Na maumivu yangu yanaendelea ndani mwangu. When I finished ministering to the people, nilipomaliza kuhudumia watu. I went back in my office. Nilirudi kwenye ofisi yangu. And I took drugs. Na nilichukua uh, dawa. Eh, nimekunga dawa bwana. Eh, nikatumia dawa ame vidonge. Amenitumia kuponga watu wengine. Aha, <laughs> Mungu kamtumia kuponya watu wengine lakini yeye ametumia vidonge. You need boldness. Unahitaji ujasiri. And I stand in this altar. Na nasimama kwenye madhabahu hii. Apostle of God. Kama mtume wa Bwana. I release the anointing for boldness. Na achia I release the anointing for boldness. Upako wa ujasiri. I release the anointing for boldness. Upako wa ujasiri.
You need to be bold. Lazima uwe mjasiri. Opposition will come. Upinzani utakuja. Challenge will come. Changamoto zitakuja. But be bold. Lakini uwe jasiri. Be strong. Uwe na nguvu. Be bold. Uwe jasiri. Be strong. Uwe na nguvu. No one thing. Ujue kitu kimoja. Jesus is the same. Yesu ni ule ule. Today. Jana. Today. Leo. And forever. Na hata milele. Just to know one thing. Ujue kitu kimoja. Just to know one thing. Fahamu kitu kimoja. He that has called me. Ule aliyeniita. He is with me. Eko pamoja nami. He never leave me. Atoniacha. He never abandon me. Am I talking to a Christocrat? Niko naongea na Christocrat. Boldness. Ujasiri. Boldness. Ujasiri. So many preachers, so many Christians today. Wahubiri wengi na wakristu wengi leo. They are so weak. Wako wazaifu. They can't even cast one devil out. Hawaweza hata kufukuza pepo moja nje. Hey. We have been not sent to discuss with devils. We have been sent to cast them out. Atukutuma tuanze kujadili na mapepo tulitumwa tuwatoe nje. I don't understand that gospel. Who are you? And who are you? I am so and so. Are you being called to discuss with devils? Mimi sielewi ile injili unakuwa naongea na pepo. Wewe ni nani? Wewe ni nani? Ah ah, wewe ulitumwa kufanya story na pepo? These signs will follow them that believes in my name they shall cast out devils. Biblia inasema tazama ishara itakayosindikiza wanaoamini watafukuza mapepo. Not discussing casting Sio them kuongea, out. Casting them out. Kuwafukuze. Not discussing with them. Sio kuongea nao ni kuwakemea. We need boldness for Unahitaji ujasiri. Challenge number 4. Changamoto ya ine. Christocracy is not a simple teaching and preaching message. It's the life of God's kingdom. Aha. Christocracia sio tu kuhubiri na kufundisha ujumbe, lakini ni kuishi maisha ya Bwana. Say it again. Tunasema tena, Christocracia sio tu ujumbe unaoongea kufundisha na kuhubiri, lakini ni maisha ya Mungu uko naishi kila saa. They are above preachings. Ni zaidi ya mahubiri. They are above teachings. Ni zaidi ya mafundisho. It's the displaying of the life of God. Ni kuonekanisha wa uziririsho wa maisha ya Mungu. It's expressing God through our human bodies. Ni kuziririsha Mungu kupitia mili yetu ya kibinadamu. It's releasing the power of God to see people setting being set free. Ni kuachilia uwezo wa Mungu kuona watu wakifunguliwa. Is leaving the place to Jesus to rule through our lives and ministries. Ni kumwamba Yesu nafasi apate kutawala kupitia maisha yetu na huduma zetu. Not simple talk. Sio kuongea ongea tu. Not simple preaching. Sio mahubiri bure tu. We say tulisema Christocratic Message is a revelation and a revolutionary meeting a, a message I mean Tulisema kwamba ufunuo au neno ya, ya kisokrasia ni ufunuo na ni mapinduzi It's a revolution ni mapinduzi Through that revolution kupitia ile mapinduzi I am saying to myself Niko nadiambia mwenyewe Since this year has started Toka mwaka huu umeanza I don't like to much grammar in my message i need the power of god sitaki maongezi mengi maneno mengi kwenye ujumbe wangu nahitaji nguvu ya mungu because it's, it, it is written kwa sababu imeandikwa not you shall receive grammar kwamba amtapokea maneno not you shall receive conjugations amtapokea namna ya kuongea you shall receive power mtapokea nguvu the holy ghost has come upon you wakati roho atawajia you shall be my witness na mtakuwa shuhuda wangu hallelujah amen sikusikie hallelujah amen jamani tumefika wakati watu wamekusikia ya kutosha acha wasikie mungu amen Watu waku bamekuona ba ya kutosha acha baone Mungu. Amen. They have seen you a lot. Wamekuona sana. They want to see God. Wanataka wamuone Mungu. They have heard you hear you a lot. Wamekusikia sana. Let them hear God. Acha wamsikie Mungu. Let them hear God. Acha wamsikie Mungu. Let them hear God. Wamsikie Mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mtu mmoja lalamike hallelujah. How can I be praying every day no answers? Nitaanzaje kuomba kila siku na hakuna majibu? How? Namna gani? Every day I have needs. 
Kila siku ina mahitaji. There is no provisions. Hakuna kitu cha kusomaiza mahitaji. I'm saying. Na hapa niko nasema. God is the same. Mungu ni ule ule. Yesterday, Jana, today and forever. Leo na milele. But come on, can, can you prove it? Je, unaweza kweli kuthibitisha? Let go be proved that is God in your life. Acha Mungu asibitishe kwamba ni Mungu maisha ni mwako. Not teaching and preaching. Sio tu kuhubiri na kufundisha. When we start the school in Goma, tulipoanza shule pale Goma. I took my personal apartment to stay. Nilichukua apartment yangu nipate kukaa. And that apartment we pay 350 a month. Na tulikuwa nalipa dola 350 kwa mwezi. And my peer said, na msaidizi wangu akasema, "Is a man of God." Mtu wa Mungu. You have no people. Hauna watu. You have not yet start training. Bado hujaanza hata kufundisha. 350 dollars. Dola 350. Where are you going to get it from? Utaitoa wapi? I told him. Nikamwambia. I won't get it from you. Nitaipata kwako. I'll get it from God. Nitaipata kwako, nitapata kwa Mungu. You will see it. Na wewe utaiona. You will testify it. Na wewe utashuhudia. It is no speech. Sio maneno ya kuongea ongea. Life. Ma uzima, maisha. Life. Maisha. Life. Maisha. Life. Maisha. Listen to me my brother. Unisikilize ndugu yangu. If the things you preach kama vitu unavyohubiri does not be fulfilled in the people's life. Sorry. If the things you preach kama vitu unahubiri does not be fulfilled in the people's life. Aionekane ndani ya maisha ya watu. They will follow you three months. Watakufuata miezi mitatu. The fourth one they will relocate. <laughs> Mwezi wa 4 watahama. Am I sure? Yes. They will look for green pastures. Watatafuta majani mabichi. So we need to come back. Inabidi turudi. Sit down properly with this Christocratic gospel. Tukae vizuri kwenye hii injili ya kristokrasia. It's not a preaching only. Sio mahubiri tu peke yake. It is the life we display. Ni maisha tunaozirisha. In my family. Ndanya with my jamaa yangu na mke wangu. With my children. Na watoto wangu. With the people around me. Na watu wanao kando kando yangu. Life. Maisha. Life. Maisha. Life. Maisha. Number 5. Ya tano changamoto. Listen to me. Nisikilize. The number number 5 challenge. Uh, changamoto ya tano. Christocracy is not prosperity. Ah, Christocracy sio mafanikio. Listen to me properly. Unisikilize vizuri. Many people will join us. Wengi watakuja kujiunga na sisi. Just because they can hear. Kwa sababu watasikia. Christocracy. Christocracy is the rulership ni utawala of Christ. Ya Kristo through his believers. Kupitia waumini wake. And uh, maybe one day you tell them you see we can do some project we can work together. Ah, na unasema tutakuwa na miradi tutatumika pamoja wase ah. They will come watakuja not because of Christ. Sio kwa sababu ya Kristo. Because of material interest. Kwa sababu ya wa, wanavutwa na vitu na mali. And as teachers and preachers of Christocracy if we are not careful we will just turn it to a prosperity message. Ah, na sisi wahubiri na wafund, na walimu wa Christocracia tusipokuwa makini tutaigeuza kwa injili ya mafanikio. If you are looking for money resign from the gospel please. Kama uko unatafuta pesa unavutwa na mali hebu achana na injili. If you need money go to Kariako there is more place to make money in Kariako. Eh, kama pesa ndio shida yako nenda Kariako kuna nafasi ya kutosha we kupata pesa. But with the gospel kwenye injili God want your body. Mungu anataka mwili wako. He want your mind. Anataka ufahamu wako. With your pocket together pamoja na mifuko yako Listen to me brother and sister Unisikilize ndugu na dada If you cannot pay the expenses for the gospel progress you have not yet started with God Kama huwezi kulipia gharama ya kuendesha injili haujaanza na Mungu Anybody who starts with God kila ule anayeanza na Mungu He pay the price Analipa gharama He pay the price Analipa gharama Look about the, the, the disciples of Jesus Kama wa, wa, wanafunzi wa Yesu Especially women sana sana wanawake Yesu aliondoa mapepo ndani mwao Jesus healed them Yesu aliwaponya and they couldn't depart na wakuweza kuondoka they, they were lo- walking lo- along a line with Jesus walikuwa natembea pamoja na Yesu not for prayers sio kwa sababu ya maombi he wasn't praying for them alikuwa anawaombea he wasn't laying hands on them hakuwa anawekea mikono they were supporting a jeep walikuwa namsaidia Yesu wakimsupport na pesa zao na mali zao what are you doing wewe uko nafanya nini? Hallelujah. Christocracy is not a speech. Christocracy sio kuongea ongea. It's a life. Ni maisha. I remember last year. Nakumbuka mwaka jana. When we finished the conference here. Tulivomaliza kongamano hapa. I, I went back to Bujumbura. Nilirudi Bujumbura. We had a meeting. 
na tulikuwa na kikao one of my daughter asked me to buy for her a phone mmoja wa binti zangu akaniambia nimnunulie simu so i bought for her a phone nikamnunulia simu and i took to her nikampelekea so kule we had a very powerful meeting tulikuwa na kikao kizuri sana and uh, every christian in our church na kila mkristo kanisani kwetu was giving his annual giving alikuwa anatoa sadaka yake ya mwaka ah, i initiated in the church nilianzisha hiyo kanisani we have annual thanksgiving tunakuwa na shukrani ya mwaka nzima everybody kila mtu you will look by behind unaangalia nyuma since january toka mwezi wa kwanza up to december mpaka mwezi wa 12 what the lord has done for you kile mungu alikutendea how many he has delivered you namna gani amekufungua how many times he has healed you mara ngapi alikuponya and when i was talking na nilipokuwa naongea i said something like this nilisema kitu kama hicho i said some of you people wengine katikati yenu You didn't even have one injection from medical doctors. Wanasema yes. haukupata hata sindano moja kutoka kwa daktari. For the whole year. Mwaka mzima. What are you going to give to God? Utampa Mungu nini? My daughter rose up she was crying. Na ule binti yangu kainuka akawa analia. Cry. Alikuwa analia. The tears was coming out. Na machozi alikuwa anatoka. Young girl of 12 years. Ni binti mdogo tu anaka 12. In the altar na akalala pale mazabauni remove her card sim na akatoa sim card yake and she gave the phone na akatoa simu ule mpya and she said dad akasema baba i succeeded from school nilifaulu shuleni no here i wasn't sick mwaka mzima sikuwa na umwa we went to school every day tulikuwa nenda shuleni kila no siku accident. sikupata ajali god kept me Mungu alinilinda. Sina kitu kumpa Mungu. Alikuwa analia. I give to God my phone. Alikuwa anakupa Mungu simu yangu. When I saw that, nilipoona hiyo. As was coming out of mine. Machozi ilikuwa ananivua. He's a young girl of 12 years. Nikasema kama binti wa miaka 12. Can give like this. Anaweza kutoa kama hivyo. What about me? As inakuache mimi. I turn to my wife. Nikamgeukia mke wangu. Say please. Nikasema samani. Allow me to give one of my car out. Acha nitoe mmoja ya gari gari yangu. And I collect the car key. Nikachukua fungua ya gari and put over. Na nikapeleka. And I say I travel the Lord. Nasema nilisafiri sana. Ethiopia Airlines Kenya Airlines. Ethiopia Airlines Kenya Airlines. No accident. Lakini sijapata no ajali yoyote. Nitampa Mungu nini? Listen to me brother and sister. Unisikilize ndugu na dada. Christ is life. So Kristo Kristo ni maisha. Not speech. Sio tu kuongea. Not grammars. Sio maongezi mengi. Not money. Sio pesa. God wants you to give out. Mungu anataka utoe. Let's stop that business. Sorry. Let's stop that business. Tuache ile biashara. Coming in the presence of God. Kuja kwenye uwepo wa Mungu. With our shopping list. Tunakuja na na, na list yetu ya vitu tunataka kununua. Tunavyo vitaka. My car is broken. Eh, gari yangu imeharibika. My wife must change. Inabidi mke wangu abadilike. My children have no school fees. Watoto wangu hawana hada ya shule. And you have a 20 point prayer request. <laughs> na una mahitaji vipengele 23 ya maombi. But God will ask you what did you bring in the table? Nothing. Na Mungu anakuuliza uleta nini mezani? Hakuna kitu. We must be able to handle. Inabidi tuwe na uwezo. Number 6. Number 6. Ya sita. Until Christocracy became our ideology and mentality it will not work aha mpaka pale kisokasia itakapokuwa ndio mtazamo wetu na ufahamu wetu na fikra yetu hakuna kitu kitabadilika so we must be, we, we must have christocratic mindset kwa inabidi tuwe na mtazamo wa kikristokrasia we must think like christ inabidi tufikirie kama kristo we must talk like christ lazima tuongee kama kristo we must operate like Christ inabidi tutende kama Kristo if not kama sio it will be a simple story itakuwa ni hadithi tu we will be like the teacher of economy who does not have economies Aha. who does not have savings tutakuwa kama ule mwalimu wa uchumi ambao yeye mwenyewe ana akiba you will be that teaching about uh, ruling unakuwa unafundisha kuhusu utawala and you are not ruling anywhere na utawali popote and your message will be impactless na ma, mafundisho yako yatakuwa hayana mgusoyote so kwa hiyo 
we must grow inabidi tukue as we develop our mentality wakati tuko na jenga fahamu zetu and the number seven, the number seven challenge na changamoto ya saba christocracy is not a milk level of god's word aha christocracia sio neno la mungu la kiwango cha maziwa uh, it's a strong meat ni, ni, ni nyama it's a strong meat ni nyama a strong meat na kama nyama kundumu who have came in on age ni wale ambao wameshakuwa wameshakomaa so we must be able inabidi tuweze you go to a meeting as we have come unakuja kwenye uh, mkutano kama tumekuja with joy na furaha with your money na pesa yako amen mm-hmm. it's a great business ni biashara kubwa a great deal with god ni, ni deal kubwa na, na mungu great deal with god ni deal kubwa na mungu so it cannot start like that haiwezi kaanza hivyo it's a mentality ni mtazamo it's a mentality ni namna kufikiria now on ni my, the fundamental and the process of developing that mentality now sasa misingi na mchakato wa kufikia kwenye hiyo nia when we are talking about fundamental what does it mean tunavyosema kuhusu maneno ya msingi it means elementary things ni vitu ambavyo ni vile vya mwanzo it means basics ni vile vya mwanzo vya misingi it means a b c of christocracy ni ile a b c d ya kisokrasia what is it exactly ni nini haswa where should i start naanzia wapi fundamental basic things vitu vya msingi kabisa when we talk about process tunapozungumzia kuhusu mchakato process is a step by step issues to reach a goal kwa mchakato ni ile mwendo wa hatua kwa hatua kufikia lengo many people today in the church of jesus watu wengi leo katika kanisa la kristo they don't like process hawataki mchakato they like sudden events wanataka matokeo ya ghafla Sema There is a process to undergo. Inabidi upitie mchakato fulani. I took this book. Nimechukua hicho kitabu. This book. Kitabu hichi. The English copy. Nikachukua ya Kiingereza. And the French copy. Na ya Kifaransa. I studied pray over it for six months. Nika nikajifunza kuhusu kitabu hichi na nikaomba kuhusu kitabu hichi kwenye miezi sita. It's not a joke. Sio mchezo. And all this I'm teaching and preaching. Na hivi vyote ambao niko na ubiri na kufundisha. Nimeipata kwenye miguu yangu kwa magoti. Questioning the book. Niko na hoji kitabu. I'm questioning the Bible na kuhoji Biblia. And ask the Holy Ghost. Na kumuuliza Roho Mtakatifu. To show me. Anionyeshe. What he show to his servant. Kila alichomuonyesha mtumishi wake. Listen to me. Nisikilize. If I carry a vision nikiwa nabeba maono it is not by your intelligence that you can understand my vision sio kupitia akili yako kibinadamu unaweza ukaelewa maono yangu if the vision be revealed unto me by the holy ghost kama ile maono yamenipewa na roho mtakatifu it will take the holy ghost to explain it to you itachukua roho mtakatifu kukufafanulia wewe it's god Amen. gave me something special kama mungu amenipa kitu maalum it working in my hand na inafanya kazi mikononi mwangu you will need the same god utahitaji Mungu ule ule help you understand what i'm doing apate kusaidia uelewe kile niko nafanya that why most of us we did the we did the copy paste to copy paste in ministry in so many things but it didn't work ndio maana wengi katikati yetu tuna tuna copy vitu tuna tunachukua vitu kwenye huduma na havifanyi kazi i don't know about you sijue kuhusu wewe but i've seen it mimi nimeyaona how many people have seen benin throwing suit to people people being healed you go and try and they were not healed with you <laughs> and with benin they were healed <laughs> watu wangapi wamemuona pastor benin akitupia watu koti yake wakidondoka wakipona afu wewe ukichukua koti ukiwatupia watu na waponi have you how many of us we have seen uh, 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 rena bonke lifting his hands he said receive the holy ghost and the power fall down you go and try and he didn't work with you <laughs> wangapi tumemuona mwinjilisi rena bonke akiinua tu mkono wa kulia akisema pokea roho mtakatifu na watu wanapokea nguvu ya Mungu na wewe ukaenda kupima hivyo hivyo na mkono wako na bado nguvu ya Mungu haikuonekana why is, why is it so kwa nini kwa hivyo god didn't prepare you for that Mungu akukuandaa kwa ajili ya hiyo Maybe you didn't undergo the process that they, they went. Aha, uh-huh. pengine ukupitia ile mchakato ambao yeye alipitia. You can go somewhere with somebody priest. Unaweza kaenda sema ambao mtu anahubiri. Another one rose up and give him a key of the car. Na, na mtu anainuka kwenye konga, kwenye mkutano anampa funguo ya gari. And you want yourself in the mountain to pray. Na wewe unaenda mlimani kuomba. I 
need such blessings. Nataka hiyo baraka kama hiyo. When you go next nothing even in a phone nobody will give you. Wewe unaporudi unahubiri hakuna kitu kinatokea hata simu hakuna mtu anakupa. What is happening? Kwa kwa nini inatokea? Process. Mchakato. Process. Mchakato. Process. Mchakato. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> One of my daughter asked me said dad I need a phone. Siku moja binti yangu akasema baba nataka simu. I said wait. Nikasema subiri. I'll give it to you. Nitakupa. And I have my iPhone. Nilikuwa na iPhone yangu. That, it was iPhone 8 I think. Ilikuwa iPhone nane. And the Holy Ghost I was praying in the night the Holy Ghost told me. Na nilikuwa naombi nilikuwa naomba usiku Roberta tunaambia. You told your daughter to wait for the phone now is four months. Anasema toko alivyomwambia binti yako asubiri kuhusu simu sasa hivi ni miezi 4. Which kind of father are you? Wewe ni baba wa aina gani? I kept quiet. Nikakaa kimya. And I told God what do I do? Nikamwambia Mungu nafanya nini? I said give to her. Ampe akanyambia. I said just like that. I said hivi tu. I said yes give to her. Anasema ndio umpe. I went to look at my daughter. Nikamwangalia binti yangu. Can you know this phone? I said yes I know that. Anasema unajua hii simu? Akasema ndio natafahamu. How much is called? She said I don't know. Unajua ina ina, ina gharama gani anasema sifahamu. And I said to my daughter because you don't know the price I wanted to give you but because you don't know the value of it I just keep it I will show you the value of it and next day I will give it to you. Aha nikamwambia kwa sababu haujui thamani yake sitakupa sasa hivi na subiri siku nyingine nikueleweshe thamani yake afu nitakupa. Until you succeed in the process there are certain things God will not release because he loves you so much. Yeah. Ah, mpaka pale ufanikiwe kwenye mchakato kupitia vipimo Mungu atokupa kila atakaye kukupa kwa sababu anakupenda sana process inabidi upitie mchakato process mchakato so we must undergo the process of establishing christocratic mindset we must Ina... undergo it we must accept it inabidi upitie vipimo na hatua ya kupitia mchakato wa kuweza kupata ule mtazamo na nia ya kikristokrasia Come on talk to me it's a pole pole business. Aha, <laughs> ni biashara ya kwenda taratibu. We, we don't rush. Atukimbilia haraka. We must go little by little. Little Tunaenda by little. Kidogo kidogo. Little by little. Mdogo mdogo. mdogo. That why? Ndo maana there is no one school in this world. Sorry. There is no school in this world. Hakuna shule dunia nzima. You can get a degree in one month. Unaweza ukapata degree yako kwa mwezi mmoja. It does not exist. Haipo. You must be patient. Inabidi uwe na uvumilivu. You must undergo process. Lazima upitie mchakato. You must undergo process. Lazima upitie mchakato. Mindset. Ile mtazamo nia is the real man. Amen. Hiyo ndo mtu wa kweli. The real man is your mentality. Mtu alisia ni namna unavyo nia yako na mtazamo wako. The way you think. Namna unavyofikiria. Listen, Nzanzo is not this suit. Nzanzo sio hii koti nimevaa suti. Nzanzo is my mentality. Nzanzo ni nia yangu ni mtazamo wangu. Jesus Yesu is far beyond the body ni zaidi ya mwili the gospel of Jesus na injili ya Yesu is the way Jesus do things ni namna Yesu anavyofanya vitu that's why the scripture say ndo maana maandiko yanasema we need to have the mind inabidi tuwe na nia which was in Jesus ilio kuwa ndani ya Yesu if it took, if it if it was Jesus in your in your place kama ilikuwa ni Yesu pali pako he will do what atafanya nini? He will say what? Atasema nini? Nahubiri nini madhabahuni? Jesus died. Yesu alikufa. He rose up. Akafufuka. And before he dies. Na kabla afe. He was telling people. Alikuwa anaambia watu. Destroy this temple. Nitavunja hii hekalu. In the three days. Na siku tatu. I'll rebuild it. Nitaijenga upya. He was telling people. Alikuwa anaambia watu. Son of God will die. Mwana wa Mungu atakufa. In the third day. Na siku ya tatu. He will rise up. Atafufuka. And when he rose up. Na alipofufuka. He didn't talk about it again. Akuzungumzia hiyo tena. If it could have been you and I. Ingekuwa mimi na wewe. You might be we like to prove people who we are. Ulikuwa nataka wasibitishe watu sisi ni wakina nani. Jesus didn't prove anybody. Lakini Yesu hata usimsha mtu wote. If it could have been us. Ingekuwa ni sisi. After the resurrection. Baada ya kufufuka. You go and tell the disciples. Ungeenda ambao waumini. Bamba meongea mimi. Mlikuwa naongea sana mnasema sana. Si mnaona, mnaona sasa. Si nimefufuka. Nimefufuka. Si nimie huyu. He did he did not preach his one experience. Akuhubiri alichopitia mwenyewe. He preached the word. Alihubiri neno. He preached the kingdom. Alihubiri ufalme. Christocracy. Christocracy. It's a process. Ni mchakato. To develop our mentality. Ya ku ya kujenga nia zetu. If we don't reach it to simple fika hapo we be dis, we be, we be dis, displaying stories tutakuwa naonyesha tu hadithi dis, displaying stories 
Tutaonyesha tu hadithi. And what we call mindset? Na tunachoita nia au mtazamo. It's a fixed attitude. Ni ni uh, hali fulani ambayo iko pale imesimama. Uh, ni hali ambayo iko pale imesimama. The, the way you think. Nani unavyofikiria? Fanya kile unachokifanya. Ni nia. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What do you do what you do? Kwa nini unafanya kile unachokifanya? What do you preach? Unahubiri nini? What do you teach? Unafundisha nini? Christocrats. Wana Christocracia. God is asking us. Mungu yuko natuuliza. I hear it in my spirit. Naisikia kwenye roho yangu. What do you do conference every year? Why? Kwa nini unafanya kongamano kila mwaka? We should answer to that question. Why? Lazima tujibu hiyo swali kwa nini? Why do we gather people? Why? Kwa nini tunakusanya watu kwa nini? What do we want? We want what? Tunataka nini? What are we looking for? Tunatafuta nini? What is our mentality? Nia yetu ni nini? What are we expecting from God? Tuko na tarajia nini kwa Mungu? What do we want? Tunataka nini? What are we looking for? Tunatafuta nini? The time has come. Muda umefika. That we should arise. Kwamba tusimame. I reach a point where na tufikie tu kwamba God Mungu is checking the motive within our heart. Atatazama nia zetu na misukumo yetu. He's not checking only the ticket we pay. Angalie tu nauli tuliyotumia. If I pay the ticket from Goma to here and in my room I'm complaining, what do I pay? So what did you pay? It? You could go back home. Kama nimenunua ticket yangu kutoka Goma paka huko na njiani niko nanungunika. Sasa umelipa kwa ajili nini? Many of us in God's kingdom. Wengi katika jote wa ufalme wa Mungu. We are sinning in doing good. Tuko na tenda dhambi na tukiwa na tenda tukiwa nafanya mema. Sinning in conferences, sinning in teachings, sinning in seminars, sinning in building churches. Tuko na tenda dhambi tukiwa na ubiri, tuko na tenda dhambi tukiwa nafanya mikongamano, tuko na tenda dhambi tukiwa na imba. Can I talk to you? Naweza kuongea na wewe. Come on, can I talk to you? Naweza kuongea na wewe. Other people, watu wengine. They are living sanctification but sinning in the same time. Eh, hey, wako na issue utakaso wa kitenda dhambi hapo hapo. Why? Kwa nini? The motive are wrong. Misukumo yao ni mbaya. The mentality is wrong. Nia yao ni mbovu. Now they say it's Christocracy. Now, I have come. Ah, I pay my ticket. Nimelipa ticket When yao. When I go back. Hey, Watanisikia. Who here? here? Nani asikie? You hear yourself. Utasikia mwenyewe. The motive is wrong. <laughs> Msukumo wako ni mbovu. Now you see so many Christians. Ndio maana una watu wengi miss the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Wanakosa upako wa Roho Mtakatifu. Because of the wrong motive. Kwa sababu misukumo mibaya. The wrong motive. Misukumo mbaya. The wrong motive. Misukumo mbaya. I want to preach. Nataka nihubiri. So that they know this man is really an apostle. Ili wajue kabisa huyu mtu ni ni apostle. I want to hear the sick. Hiyo nataka niponye wagonjwa. When we heal the sick, wale wanasema tunapoponya wagonjwa, they bring offerings. Wataleta matoleo. Wrong motive. Hiyo ni sababu mbovu. And so we, we, we squeeze our Christocratic message. Kwa hiyo tunakuwa tunapindisha ujumbe wetu wa kikristokasia. Listen to me brothers and sisters. Sikiliza ndugu na dada. We need to accept the process. Lazima tukubali mchakato. That God can use ambao Mungu anaweza katumia to transform our lives kubadilisha maisha zetu so that we can become the message ili tuwe ujumbe wenyewe you are not preaching the message you become the message yourself ahubiri ujumbe mwenyewe umekuwa ujumbe you are not preaching christocracy you are a christocrat yourself ahubiri christocracy wewe mwenyewe ni christocracy so for you to reach there ili wewe ufike hapo you need to accept the process lazima ukubali mchakato it may not come after one day Aiwezi kaja baada ya siku moja. It may not come after one week of prayer. Inaweza isije baada ya wiki moja ya maombi. Ni mchakato mrefu. It will take your mind. Itachukua nia yako. It will take understanding. Itachukua uelevu. It will take your physical energy. Itachukua nguvu yako ya kimwili. For me to to understand the gospel of Christ properly, ili mimi nielewe injili ya Kristo vizuri. It took me 10 years. Ili nichukua miaka 10. 10 years. Miaka 10. Of searching. Nikiwa natafuta. 10 years. Miaka 10. Moving around. Nikiendaenda huko na huko. 10 years. Miaka 10. From Tanzania I started in Zambia. Nilianza Zambia. Zambia Zimbabwe. Nikaenda Zimbabwe. I went to Tanzania, Kenya, study. Nikaenda Tanzania, Kenya nikiwa najifunza. Apostle John can remember. Mtume John anaweza kukumbuka. I was pastoring in Morogoro. Nilikuwa mchungaji Morogoro 
mwaka 2006 and uh, i had a bishop of yedepo who be having a conference here in tanzania in dar salaam sorry na tulikuwa na bishop of yedepo alikuwa na mkutano hapa dar es salaam and i will come to attend the conference na nitakuja kwenye kongamano and my wife told me are you coming but i said i will come back i will stay for all the days of conference in the hotel only praying god speak to me please na mke wangu atanuliza utarudi na sema hapana siku zote za kongamano nitakaa kwenye hoteli niko naomba mungu nizungumzie some of us we are so weak wengi katika hizo tuko wazaifu to access revelations ili tufikie ufunuo some of us we, we are so weak tuko wazaifu sana so discouraged sometimes so wakati ile tunakata tamaa haraka tutaomba after two minutes uh, baada dakika mbili you are tired umechoka <laughs> hey we must accept the process lazima tukubali mchakato we must accept the process tukubali kupitia hiyo njia uh, that process na hiyo mchakato is three point ni vitu vitatu maybe i'm going to stop at there because of my time mtasimamia kwa sababu ya muda wangu if i have time i'll continue it next time nikipata muda mara nyingine nitaendelea we have to undergo three phases inabidi tupitie hatua tatu to develop the christocratic mindset ili tupate kuijenga nia ya kikristokrasia the first number first number one ya hatua ya kwanza is understanding christology ni kuelewa mafundisho ya Kristo kuhusu Kristo understanding christology ku kuelewa mafundisho kuhusu Kristo peke yake the second phase na hatua ya pili is understanding christocentrism Ah, ni kuelewa vitu vi, vinaokuwa na Kristo kama lengo. Nitafasilia baadaye. The, the number, two, number three now. Na ya tatu is the outcome Christocracy. Na matokeo ya Christocracy. Christology, Christocentrism mm-hmm. and the Christocracy. Kisologia is the reflection ni uh, fik- fikra the teachings na mafundisho and the doctrine of Jesus Christ na mafundisho ya Yesu Kristo Christos ile Kristo and logos uh, Christos na logos it means that inamaanisha the studies of Christ ni kujifunza kuhusu Kristo this is christology hiyo ndo christologia we cannot understand the revelation of Christ ruling if we don't understand who is Christ Atuwezi tukaelewa ufunuo wa Kristo akitawala kama tujaelewa Kristo ni nani? Is it clear? Iko wazi? Come on talk to me. Is it clear? Sema na mimi iko iko wazi hiyo. Christocracy is the rulership of Christ. Kwa hiyo kristokrasia ni utawala wa Kristo. No, before we begin to talk about the rulership, kama tuzungumzie utawala, we we'll talk about Christ. Tunazungumzia Kristo mwenyewe. Who is Christ? Kristo ni nani? Now there are nine revelation in Christocracy. Nine revelation in Christocracy. Kuna ufunuo in Christology I mean. Tisa ndani ya Christologia. Number one, studying Christ in the Old Testament. We must undergo that. Ni kujifunza kuhusu Kristo kwenye agano la kale, lazima tupitie hiyo. So that we may not just appear with uh, dominion of Christ. We must know Christ from the pages of the Old Testament. Aha, ili tusiibuke tu na utawala wa Kristo, lazima tujue Kristo huko katika agano la kale. Number two, ya pili. We need to understand the incarnation. Incarnation. Aha, lazima tu tuone mifano na matokeo ya Kristo. God, Mungu, becoming man. This is a- incarnation. A- akiwa mwanadamu, ndio tunaita incarnation. A become man. Uzirilisho wa Mungu kama mwanadamu. The person of Christ. Why? Ndani ya Kristo, kwa nini? After the incarnation, baada ya kuvaa mwili, you go to crucifixion. Unaenda kwenye kusulubiwa. He died in the cross. Alikufa msalabani. Why? Kwanini? Did he die in the cross? Kwanini alikufa msalabani? What was the purpose? Ya kusudi ilikuwa ni nini? Of the death of Jesus in the cross. Kufa kwa Yesu msalabani. He died alikufa to finish with sin. Kumalizana na, na zambi. Not sin, not sins in plural. Sio zambi sin kwa, kwa, kwa kwa wingi. Zambi to destroy the nature of sin. Alikufa kuharibu uhalisia au asili ya zambi. He died alikufa destroy the works of the devil kukuvunja nguvu ya shetani after the crucifixion baada ya usulubiwa you understand the burial inabidi uelewe kuzikwa kwa kisu why jesus was buried why kwa nini walimzika yesu and after that na baada hapo there is resurrection kuna ufufuko why the resurrection kwa nini kufufuka and after the resurrection na baada ya kufufuka there is the ascension kuna kupaa juu. No, before the ascension, kabla ya kupaa juu. He spent 40 days. Alifanya siku 40 here on earth. Hapa duniani. Doing what? 
Alikuwa anafanya nini? For which purpose? Kwa kusudi gani? We need to study that. Lazima tujifunze hiyo. After the 40 days, na baada ya siku 40, we have the ascension. Akapaa juu. Jesus. Yes. Ascended to the Father. Akapanda kwa Baba kwa Baba. Why? Kwa nini? As preacher we should have the question, the answers. Kama wahubiri lazima tuwe na jibu. And after the, the ascension, na baada ya kupaa juu, is the Pentecost. Sasa ni Pentecost. He send the Holy Ghost. Akatuma Roho Mtakatifu. After that, baada ya hapo, we have now. Tunao sasa. Jesus. Yesu. Seated in the right hand of God. Akikaa kulia kwa Baba. Doing four things. Eko nafanya vitu vinne. He's a priest. He's an advocate. Ni koani. He's an intercessor. Ni mtetezi. What again? Ni muombaji. He's a shepherd. For na na yeye ni mchungaji. The today works of Jesus Christ. Na hiyo ndio kazi ya leo ya Yesu. In Christology we study the divinity of Jesus Christ. Ndani ya Christology tunajifunza uungu wa Yesu Kristo. Is God? Ni Mungu. And is man? Na ni mwanadamu. 100% man. Asilimia mwanadamu. 100% God. Asilimia Mungu. When we understand that, tukielewa hiyo, he will give us the picture. Atatupa picha of who supposed to rule. Nani anatakiwa ku kutawala. When you understand his death, unapoelewa kifo chake, his burial, kuzikwa kwake, his resurrection, na kufufuka kwake. You come point, you come to the point where unafika kwenye pointi kwamba you will understand utaelewa under the earth chini ya ya, ya, ya arsi na mbinguni na popote there, there is no another name hakuna jina nyingine which has given unto us ambayo imetupewa the name of jesus kama sio jina la yesu above every name Zai, juu ya jina zote above the witch and wizard Za, zaidi ya wa, wa, wachawi because through christocracy kupitia christocracy jesus need to rule yesu anatakiwa atawale it means he's a ruler kwamba ni mtawala he's a king ni mfalme is above all Eko juu ya vyote. Above the pains, above challenge. Zaidi ya maumivu na zaidi ya changamoto. Above sickness and diseases. Yuko zaidi ya magonjwa na maradhi. Above everything. Zaidi ya vitu vyote. So the man we are talking here, huyu mtu tunamzungumzia hapa. Jesus. Yes, ruling. Akitawala. He does not fail. Aweza akafeli. Jesus does not fail. Aweza akafeli. So when we don't understand who is Jesus. Tusipoelewa Yesu ni nani? Even when preachers will talk about Christocracy here. Hata wakati tutazungumzia kuhusu Christocracy hapa. Somewhere we'll be having some quack. Wakati tunatoka tunagoma sehemu. Why? Kwa sababu Because gani? Because we don't understand who is that person. Kwa sababu hatumuelewi huyu mtu ni nani? Jesus Christ. Yesu Christ. Even in the, the name of Jesus. Hata jina la Yesu. I've been lifted above every name. Imeinuliwa juu ya majina yote. Even in the Father himself. Hata baba mwenyewe he has accepted alikubali to bow. He has accepted to bow. Alikubali kushuka mbele ya jina la Yesu. The name of Jesus. Jina la Yesu. Sickness will, come, will go out. Magonjwa yataondoka. The name of Jesus. Mauti itaondoka jina la Yesu. Not the name of Jesus the way the churches pronounce it. Sio jina la Yesu gisi kanisa nao yezungumzia. You know the, 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 the churches the, the way they pronounce the name of Jesus. Unajua wanavyotangaza jina la Yesu kanisani? Ono da Jesus. Ono da Jesus. 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 It is not in the number of the time you pronounce the name of Jesus. Sio kwa mara ngapi unasema jina la Yesu? Once is enough. Mara moja inatosha. In the name of Jesus out. Kwa jina la Yesu nje. It's a name above every name. Ni jina iko juu ya majina yote. And we need to come back to the foundation. Turudi kwenye misingi. The man we want to establish his rulership. That man. Mtu ambaye tunataka tumweke kwenye utawala wake is above every name. Iko juu ya majina yote. Above every culture. Iko juu ya uh, utamaduni yote. Every devil. Iko juu ya uh, shetani yote. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not hearing you. Hallelujah. Sikusikie. Hallelujah. The power of the name of Jesus Christ. Sorry. The power of that name. Nguvu ya hiyo jina. Is what will help us. Ndio itatusaidia. To establish his rulership. Tupate kuweka uh, 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 utawala wake. Listen to me. Nisikilize. You cannot establish a kingdom of a king you don't know. Hauwezi ukaleta ufalme ya mfalme usiye mfahamu. You can't. Hauwezi. Hauwezi. Do you think that the king the king of Abu Dhabi will call you to, Una, to establish his affair here in Tanzania? Unafikiri mfalme wa Abu Dhabi atakuita wewe ukalete ufalme wake mali hapo na fikiri? You don't have with him. Ana na uhusiano na wewe. But our father. Lakini baba yetu. Ascend his son. Alituma mwanai. He came like the lamb. 
alikuja kama kondo alizikwa kama kondo lakini alipofufuka alibadilisha hali yake sio tena kondo wa Mungu yeye ni mfalme wa wafalme lazima tuifahamu you need to know him lazima umjue i need to know him nahitaji nimfahamu the first step of in the process hii ni hatua ya kwanza kwenye mchakato knowing jesus kumjua yesu before you begin to establish his kingdom kabla uanze kuleta ufalme wake before you begin to establish his rulership kabla ulete utawala wake we need to know him tunahitaji kumjua let me conclude Acha ni, 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 ni pate kuhitimisha na ushuhuda mbili I live in the country where to get 100 dollars it's a miracle Naishi kwenye nchi ambayo kupata dola 100 ni muujiza This is Burundi miracle Kupata dola 100 ina maana 230 ni muujiza mkubwa Our church can be around 100 and 120 people it's not a big church Kanisa letu ni kama watu 100 120 sio kanisa kubwa Sometimes you can gather people Wakati unaweza kukusanya watu The income of all the months na unakuta mapato ya mwezi mzima. We are not up to 200 US dollars. Atufike hata dola 200 hata lakini haifike. My personal use. My, my personal ta- family. Ma- matumizi yangu mwenyewe na familia yangu. And the, and the, the expenses of the church on a monthly basis. Na matumizi ya kanisa kwa mwezi. Sometimes we go to 1000, 1100, 1000, 1100 dollars. Wakati wengine tunafika hadi 1000, 1100 dollars. Paying the rent and paying the the the, the, the kulipa kodi na kulipa hiki na hiki. But the church is not able to make 200. Lakini kanisa haiwezi kuwa na mapato ya dola 200. How do we live? Tunaishije? We are connected to supernatural supply. Tumeunganishwa na mapato ya ya isiyo kwa ya kawaida. So we don't beg anybody. Atum, atumuombi mtu wote I teach all my children nafundisha watoto wangu I wote I taught my wife sorry the, I taught my wife nilimwambia uh, mke wangu I taught my collaborators ah, nilimfundisha mke wangu afundishe na uh, wasaidizi wangu all of them wote they know how to stand in the name of Jesus wanajua namna kusimama kwenye jina la Yesu all of them wote amen all of them wote kwanza in understanding christocracy kuelewa christocracy understand first Christ umuelewe kwanza Yesu who is Jesus Ye, Yesu ni nani? What did he do? Alifanya nini? What was the purpose of his coming? Lengo yake kuja ilikuwa ni nini? Who are we? Sisi ni wakina nani? As we believe in Jesus. Tunapomwamini Yesu. We became one with him. Tumekuwa moja pamoja naye. You understand that? Tukielewa hiyo. Let this become your mentality. Hii inakuwa nia yako. And the number two testimony. Na ushuhuda ya pili. I believe. Naamini. That my body. Mwili wangu. Is not my body. Sio mwili wangu. It's part of Jesus body. Ni sehemu ya mwili wa Kristo. You know why? Unajua kwa nini? The scripture didn't say that my spirit is the temple of the spirit. No. Sorry. Uh, kwa sababu maandiko haisemea kwamba roho yangu ndio hekalo la roho mtakatifu. No. Uh-uh. It's my body. Ni mwili wangu. My body. Mwili wangu. So God lives in me. Come on. Kwa hiyo Mungu anaishi ndani mwangu. He lives in me. Anaishi ndani mwangu. Hapo natembea serikali yote ya mbingu nimezunguka na malaika. Ah, nikitembea na utawala wote wa mbingu nikizunguka na malaika. Mungu baba anakaa ndani yangu. Yes. Mungu Roho Mtakatifu ndani yangu. God the Holy Spirit is in Mungu me. Mungu mwana ndani yangu. God the Son is in me. Nimejaa na nguvu zake. I am filled with his power. Nimezunguka na malaika. I am surrounded with angels. Hapo natembea. When I'm walking. Baba anatembea. Is the Father is walking. Hapo natembea. When I'm walking. Anatembea. The father is walking. Ni baba anakanyaga. The father is walking. Naongea, sio mimi naongea. Ni baba anaongea. Hapo naubiri, sio mimi naubiri. Ni baba anaubiri. He is He's the father preaching. Kufika pale ni mentality. To raise there is a mindset. This is what we need to build. Tunataka kujenga hiyo mentality of Christ. Ni ya Kristo. Jesus with me. Yesu pamoja nami. Jesus in me. Yesu ndani mwangu. And the scripture say. Maandiko yanasema. He is he that is in you than the one who is in this world. Aliye ndani mwenu ni mkubwa kuliko ule uko ndani ya dunia. Tanzania is too small. Tanzania ni ndogo Congo sana. Congo is too small. Congo ni ndogo sana. Ethiopia is too small. Ethiopia ni ndogo Kenya sana. Kenya is too small. Uganda ni ndogo sana. Listen to me pastor. Mungu. He's big and the whole world kwa sababu Mungu ni mkubwa kuliko dunia nzima cannot contain god na dunia haiwezi kumfazi Mungu to come and dwell in you lakini Mungu aliamua aende aishi ndani mwako wewe ni kubwa with that 
understanding now we can establish the rulership of Christ with that understanding now we can stop to the devil Out in the name of Jesus. I was in one place. As I was teaching and preaching. Somebody empowered me. And he brought in the glass. He the glass. When he gave me the glass. Literally the glass got fire. The glass got fire. Everybody was scattered. And I look at them. And I said to my peer, let go. They are just a small, small players. They are people you can't see them. Because we are sitting in the heavenly places. We are in the principalities and power. Lift up, rise up in your feet, please. Rise up in your feet. For one second, I'd like you to pray. Lord, Reveal me who is Jesus. Lift up your hands out. Let your voice and pray. Please lift up your, your voice and pray. Lord, reveal me, Jesus.